Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Season 3 of Truly Bedrock. This is Episode 16. Hi, how is everybody doing? This is my first recording since being back from vacation, and I'm excited to get back. I'm excited that we're gonna, uh, <laughs> that we're gonna... We have some plans, we have some things that we do, we have projects to finish up, we have new projects to get started, and I can't wait to get to it all. Um, hopefully by the time that this video comes out, uh, I did a live stream where we talked about some of the stories from vacation, and if you haven't heard those, well that means you're not following me on Twitch and you didn't watch the stream, so head over to Twitch and drop a follow. Twitch.tv backslash... Uh, zap underscore one one three hopefully the editor puts a little thing up in the in the thing yeah, right yeah <laughs> oh we know how the editor is so i think it was live stream day where we started digging out this tunnel and i have since finished it out that gives us two two tunnels are complete the hub is relatively complete and we still have a long way to go. We've got two more straight tunnels, and then we have the diagonal tunnels, which, yeah, are a work in progress. Not to mention we have the compass rows down here that I, I started, and I want to have a way to get up to the surface. There's a few things to do, but... Hello, Ghast. But... I forgot the button. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm at a bit of a crossroads, and the reason is the hub project, there is no time constraints on this because I'm doing it. I'm spearheading the design and the build and all of that stuff, but I have my own time constraints. I want to get this thing done so that people can start placing in their portals and whatnot. Uh, whilst I was digging this tunnel out, there have been people that have portals in here. I think this is Rogues that goes over there. Um, it may not actually attach to this portal, but I left this section open. There's a couple more down there. I think Liara is not too far on the left here. Yep. So I want to have it to where people can start putting those in and start designing their own little tunnels to their portals and stuff like that. The same thing with these diagonal tunnels like this one it has a good portion of it dug out already for me. Um... And we really, I really want to get this stuff done. The crossroads that I'm at is we've already done about four or five episodes from the Nether Hub project, right? And if I continue the episodes, I don't want them to be, look, I dug some stuff out. Look, I play some blocks. Look, it's done. Rinse, repeat, all that stuff. If I break off and do some of these other projects that I have wrote down here, it's going to take away from my time being able to do this nether project, and this will end up becoming one of those things with, uh, where we do it on stream, and if we only do it on stream and we're only streaming once a week, which is what we've been doing, then we're just not going to have enough time, uh, or th back up, back up, back up, back up. Look, I'm rusty at this. Bear with me. <laughs> it It's going to take longer doing it on streams. So I think I want to do a combination of getting it done streaming and maybe trying to slip in little side bits would be cool. Right? I don't know. So we're going to have to definitely f figure this thing out. And uh, I still got a little bit more work to do in the workroom, and like I said, there's plenty to do out here. I did do some math and paid good attention when I made the orange tunnel behind me, and it takes about four or five hours if you have all of the materials, and I'm talking all the materials, including the nether brick, all smelted up, which we have no more nether rack. It has all been smelted. So, these take a while, it takes about three hours to dig out, and hopefully by the time this video comes out though, I have one more of these tunnels done, so we're going to try to get it done. And not make it too boring, that's the crossroads that we're at. I want to start other projects, but I want to finish this thing so that people can start using it. So the rustiness at Minecraft comes from the fact that whilst I was on vacation, 
I didn't play. I have not played this game in nine days. Or I didn't play for nine days. And yeah, <laughs> you get a little rusty. But you guys remember this? This book behind us, this book of extortion, this book that says we're not allowed to use orange. I, I mean, we may even get fined for our use of lanterns in here. And, you know, we have an orange candle behind us for stream day that we could get fined for. That crafting table's looking a bit orange. We don't know how far this is going to go. I mean, there's orange in my furnace right there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I did leave what we were going to do with this book up to you guys. Um, do we pay Gruva or do we not? And there is somebody online. I, I didn't know that. Server said zero when I when I joined, but it looks like there's two people. So the general consensus was pay the man. And <laughs> basically we owe him 15 diamonds for all of this ridiculous stuff here and i think it's going to be easier if we pay him just kind of here's some diamonds leave us alone type thing but i believe that we need to do it in our way if that makes sense need to pay the man but we need to pay the man in a way that would say this is a payment from zap right if that makes sense so what we need to do is look around and see what we've got in the realm of orange blocks and i don't think we have much mm. we really don't what do i have in the junk chest hmm it's not too bad. I think I have everything I need back at the nether hub, including my diamond box, um, to get this thing going. So let me gather up some things, and we're going to talk a little bit of plans. Well, we're over at Gruva's area, I do believe. This is uh, a payment from Zloy right here for the use of orange. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build him a little present, right? So let's do something like this. And I think, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Hopefully this works out. Okay. So this thing needs to be a fair bit taller. And I think this will do. Now, what my plan is, we're going to have a little bit of dirt in here. And I think we need to go up one more. Perfect, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a little bit of dirt in here. And then cap this thing off with sand. But first, we need to put something inside of this present. So that is where all of this stuff comes in handy that we have here. Now, as well as that, I think what we need to do... Hmm, I think we need to go ahead and make a few of these oranges here. The, uh... Not powder version. What is it? Just regular old concrete?
Hmm. And we're doing this on the fly, so <laughs> bear with us. And apparently we're not flying. There we go. So what I'm thinking is we need two, four, six, eight of these guys. Unpowderized. Sure, that's what we'll go with. And that'll help with our little plan here. So if we do like this, and then we go ahead and repopulate this with the powder, it's going to work perfect. We need four pieces in here and then the lines coming across here. Now one thing that we're going to have to do is kind of foolproof this. Something like this. And we're going to want that there. For us. And then we are going to want a... Staircase. I don't know how I just took damage there, but that's okay. Bedrock. That's the answer. Excuse me. Okay. We should be able to come up here and jump across and lead an animal inside there. Now what we're going to need to do is get a little bit of, I guess, wood. Hmm. Need a crafting table. And we'll do something like that, I think, will be enough. Yes. Perfect. So if I'm correct, which usually I'm not, we should be able to do something like that. And maybe we want to take it a step further. Is it the trapdoors? The trapdoors should work, right? If they don't work, then we'll try some buttons. So that should get us that. That should be two of those. And two more. Worst case scenario, this just doesn't work. <laughs> All right. So the plan now is we're going to set up a little bit of a redstone circuit surrounding this barrel here. And there is a reason that we have this stuff here. We are going to need to dig down. So let's go ahead and pop these guys out. And we're going to need to go one, two, three down. And let's see. I guess we'll need to dig out a little bit of an area. Something like that, just to get us going. And now we need a little bit of redstone. And... <laughs> In typical me fashion, I don't have the things that I need. But I should have everything that I need to craft. We've got some cobblestone. We've got the quartz. This should be able to make us an observer. Uh, we need some iron and some wood. And this is beginning to be a little bit of a mess. Perfect. Two pistons. Perfect. 
Now, what I'm thinking here is we're going to have like that. And then maybe something like that to give the piston a place to extend out. And we should be able to do something like this. And then we should be able to just boop, boop, boop. No. This doesn't work like sand. It does. Good. So this guy is going to be set here. Hello, Mr. Goat. With a piece of redstone dust on it. And it should be simple. Should just be like this, like this, and like this. Okay. And boom. <laughs> that works perfect. I don't like the fact that this goes into there. So what we could do is we could move our pistons back by one. And have them here. And then, if we do something like this and like this, we'll repair all this momentarily. Hmm, that's not going to work. This is going to create a burnout clock. Yeah. Oh. That's perfect. So we need to make sure that we do like that and we don't cover up the redstone. Now we should be able to come down in here and do this, and do this, and then place our signs. Making sure that we're doing like that. And then if I were to look in this barrel. Perfect. Ha ha ha. All right, that is excellent. So let me place these signs down, and then we'll go to the next part of our plan.
Well, that was interesting. This guy didn't want to leave the portal. It was acting like it would burn in the sun, but I'm pretty sure wither skeletons don't burn. So we do need to name tag this guy so he doesn't get out. Can you hit me up here? No. Haha! <laughs> success. Okay, well, mm, somewhat success. I need... Need this. Uh, we can just do that, I guess, for now. And now it should be just a matter of placing in the concrete powder. And sure, <laughs> we'll do that. And then we'll just put a couple of torches to try to light this thing up. And now our present is here. So the one thing that we got to pay attention to is this thing is primed and ready for Gruva. <laughs> Which means we're going to need to be smart about how we put our diamonds in here because if we open this up, it's going to be a bad time. So hopefully... I got a hopper in here? I don't. Well? We need a chest and we're going to need some iron. No big deal. We have the things. And... Coming through the portal, yeah, this guy didn't want to come outside. And I thought that was kind of interesting. And when I put the blocks up, um, he came out. And I actually lost that specific um, wither skeleton. So we had to redo it. So this is actually the second guy that we got in here. And now we should be able to grab our 15 diamonds. Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> that apparently is setting off a chain reaction with the diamonds in there. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Well, I mean, you know, we can fix it. Luckily, we were quick enough that the Wither Skeleton didn't see us. So now we should be able to... do that? <laughs> and get out of here. Okay, so that was a little bit of a snafu, but hopefully it's all fixed. Yeah, luckily these guys are three tall, so this should be an easy fix. And he's still in there, that's good. I guess we'll place down a sign. Payment for uh, use of orange. Zap. Perfect. Little present for him made out of orange. And like I said earlier, I don't like the extortion tactics. So we threw a little, uh, <laughs> a little love, I guess, I guess that's what we call it, to Groove uh, as, as a, um, it's a two-part thing. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's a two-part thing. We're sending him a message about the use of extortion. I mean, I think it's kind of odd somebody would put, lay a claim to a specific color of a block. And then start charging people for use of it across the server. I think that's kind of wrong. But hey, we're going to pay the man. 
And we put the Wither Skeleton in there not only for the extortion, but as you guys remember, we left off with some very unfinished business last season. Mm-hmm. So, time to, time to finish. So, Gruva, there's your payment. No more extortion, or there will be more. <laughs> oh, don't tell him. That's the key. Don't run over and tell him that we did this, because, hey, we don't want him to know. We want him to find this out. I want him to be shocked just like you guys. Oh, and with all of that done, that is where we're going to end things today. Um, hopefully next episode we'll be getting back to the nether hub and getting that thing closer to finished. I have a list of things that I want to get started, but the nether hub is kind of top priority. So again, we're going to try to break away from that stuff and show some progress, but also do other things to not make the video so boring. <laughs> um, all of these lightning rods we put on our base just to add a little ominous feeling and Groove claimed usage to them. So that's what stemmed today's payment. We paid the man, but we also finished up some unfinished business from last season as well as sending a message for extortion. Don't like it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> If you did, you guys know the routine. Like, comment, consider subscribing. Check the description down below for all the different ways to follow me, including Twitter, Twitch, link to the Discord. There is also a link to all the other Truly Bedrock members' YouTube channels down below, so check them out. And once again, thank you so much for watching. We're back. We're ready to get going. I will see you on the next one.